tell you what to do. Yeah. I'm not God, you know. Oh, you're not God. Well, geez, I wish I was a kid and, and didn't have to think about the next minute. But you're not a kid. You are not a kid and you do have to think about the next minute. You've got two blondie kids sleeping in the next room. They need food and clothes and I'm not mentioning anything else. But we are stalled like a flavor in this, no? For five years, I laid awake at night listening to my heart pound. For God's sake, do something, Joe. Get wise. Maybe get your buddies together. Maybe go and strike for better money. Papa did it during the war and he went out. I'm turning into a summer old nag. Strike the war. Who told you? Besides, that means that I'll make a week while we're out. And then when it's over, they don't take you back. They don't take you back? Well, suppose they don't. What's to lose? Well, we're averaging six, seven dollars a week now. That just pays for the rent. That is something, Edna. He isn't. He isn't, and you know that. That push you down to three and four a week before you know it. And then you'll say that's something, too. There's too many cabs in the street. That's the whole damn trouble. But let the company worry about that, you big fool. If their cabs didn't make a profit, then take them off the streets. Or do you think they're in the business just to pay Joe Mitchell's rent? Huh? Joe Mitchell's rent. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't know ABC, that. I don't know ABC. Listen, I know this. Your boss is making suckers out of you boys. And out of all the wives and the poor innocent children who are growing with fruit spine and sick bones. For God's sake, I, I've seen in the newspaper how good orange juice is for kids, but God damn it, our kids get what get called one on top of the other. They look like little ghosts. Betty never saw grapefruit in her life. I took her to the store last week and she pointed to a stock of grapefruit and guess what? She told me, what's that? What's that, Joe? My God, the world is supposed to be for all of us. You wake them up. I don't care as long as I can maybe wake you up. Don't insult me, okay? You know goddamn well one man can't make a strike. Who said one? You've got hundred in your rotten union. The union ain't rotten, okay? No? Then what are they doing? Collecting dues and paying your back? They're making plans. Yeah? What kind? They don't tell us. Oh, they don't tell us. Oh, it's too damn bad about you. They don't tell little Joy what's happening in its bitsy witsy union. What do you think it is? A ping pong game? No, it's not a goddamn ping pong game. You know very well they're right here. The guys at the top will shoot you for a nickel. Then why are you still for that stuff? Don't you want to see me alive? Don't you want to see me alive? No. I don't think I do, Joe. Not if you can lift a finger to do something about it and don't. I don't care. And all Honey, those, you don't understand what the and hell all those is packies that won't fight, let them all be ground to hamburger. It's one thing to work your ass Take off. that hand away! Only they don't bring me to little pieces. I've got different plans. Where are you going? None of your business. What's up your sleeve? My arm would be up my sleeve if I had a sleeve to wear. Tell me. Tell you what? Where are you going? Don't you remember my old boyfriend? Huh? Your old boyfriend? Who? Who? Bad house. Steals my picture in his watch, you know? He earns a living. What the hell are you talking about? I heard worse than I'm talking about. Have you seen Bud since we got married? Maybe. If I thought for a second... See much! See much! Listen, boyfriend. If you think I won't do that, it just means you can't see straight. Stop talking bull. This isn't five years ago, Joe. What? You, you mean you'd leave me in the kit? I'd leave you like a shot. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I ain't got a leg to stand on, huh? No! No, you lousy cart, no. Get the hell out of here. Go pick up that bull throw on the corner and stop at some cushy hotel downtown.
You've probably been coming here every morning and laying you while I hacked my guts out. You're crawling like a worm. Well, you'll be crawling in a minute. You don't scare me that much, Joe. This is what I slave for. Tell it to your boss. <laughs> Tell it to You me. don't give a damn for you or me. That's what I say. Exactly. Don't change the subject. This is the subject, Joe. This is the exact subject. And your boss makes this subject. I've never saw him in my life and he's putting ideas in my head a mile a minute. <laughs> Guess what? He's giving your kids that fancy disease called the rickets. He's making a jellyfish out of you and putting wrinkles in my face. This is the subject every inch of the way. For God's sake, do something, get wise. When in hell will you get wise? I'm not so dumb as you think. No? You're talking like a goddamn red. I don't even know what that means. Like a red, like a red. But every tenement knocks you down, you get up and kiss his face. That's what you do, you godless piece of baloney. One that he can't do everything on his own. Who said one? I said a hundred, a thousand, a million, I say. But start in your own union. Get those hot boys together. Sweep out those racketeers like a pile of dirt. Stand up like men and fight for the crying babies and wives. God damn it, I'm, I'm tired of slavery and sleepless nights. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, get prestos on your shoes and nowhere to kick. Okay. Listen then, uh, I'm going down to 174th Street to look up Lefty Costello. Lefty was saying the other day, how about, how about this hot guy? Get out of here. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs>